standing guard in one of the last great open spaces. That looks like a promising place. The place I might be able to see myself. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Kevin Costner's Western epic, Horizon, an American Saga. It explores the lure of the Old West and how it was won and lost through blood, sweat, and tears. The movie's director, writer, and producer, no stranger to Westerns. He joins us now. I don't think you really need an introduction, Kevin Costner. <laughs> thanks for being with us. Thank you. So, okay, so first part uh, of the movie gonna be out later this month. I know the second part gonna be out in August. You're in the process of filming part three right now, right. right? And you guys actually had to pause the filming to to go to France to prevent it, uh, present it at the right. Cannes Film yeah. Festival. I'd ask you how the reaction was, but I heard there there was a, a seven minute standing ovation. I think that kind of speaks for itself. What was that like for you? Well, it kind of took me by surprise. I I, I know they they celebrate directors back there, but. Um, it did, it caught me by surprise. My family was there. They were all dressed up beautifully in their tuxedos, my boys and my girls. And um, they saw me in a moment where I was taken back. And I, the clapping didn't stop and then the camera was very close to me. And at one point I just, I shut out all the noise and I kind of went backwards in my life. So I started thinking, almost like love of the game, thinking of a, you know, my whole life and how what it took to get there. That not only the movie, but the choices that you make when you're trying to figure life out. And then, pretty soon, the noise came back in. I said to the guy, "Here, we need to stop this." Well, and then you had to go give a speech after all, as you're taking it all yeah, in. Yeah, that, that was not planned. That was it was very they were very clear. I wasn't gonna have to say anything. I went yippee. I don't want to say anything. And the next thing you know, this is happening. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not like you were just acting in this one or just directing or you know doing even those two. You wrote it. You helped produce it. You cast a lot of it. I mean, this is something that's been very personal for you over the years, and I think it shows. We got to do uh, there was a press preview of part one yesterday, and as I was watching it, I mean, I was so fascinated. Well, first of all, the videography is absolutely stunning. I love the way that you've cast it. And it's interesting as it starts because it follows several different storylines and you can mm. kind of see these uh, separate puzzle pieces, different characters, a lot of strong female characters I noticed. And then it all slowly starts to come together and it made me wonder, as you were writing this, did you start from square one or did you start with the full puzzle and then work your way back? I re-engineered. This project had its uh, beginning in 1988 a script that I thought was pretty good. I commissioned it, I had an idea. I tried to make it in 2003, no one would make it. You know, so I thought to myself, key, no one will make this one, so maybe I'll, you know what, I'll just make four more. So everybody always looks at me and like, <laughs> and like the, the, you know, n n nuthead on the block. Really, Kev, you know, they were gonna make the first one and you're now you're gonna make four, and I, yeah, I think that's a better idea. So what I did was we, with John Baird, we re-engineered because sometimes when we see westerns, there's a town there, and I think the, the reality is all those towns were fought for. Mm -hmm. we, we, there was people living here, uh, found a certain equilibrium, and we suddenly our appetite for moving across this country started putting sticks in the ground and started building things. And people who had been here for thousands of years go, "What's happening to us?" And I thought, why don't we see the beginning of how these sound, these towns start, the, how they try to bubble up. And it doesn't happen immediately. All Westerns start with a town. I wanted to see the first stake in the ground and the mythology of that. And even in this story, it's a lie. Yeah. So when you get to four, you'll find out that even that's a lie. Well, in that first scene, the yeah. literal stakes in the ground, and I think when people think of Westerns, many of us just think of cowboys, ranchers, and, and obviously you do tell their story, yeah. the story of the, the first soldiers in American history, but also that native perspective, which I think can be missing in a lot of Western films. It goes missing, and you can't have a story without them, unless it's just a specific story you're trying to tell, but if you're going to try to tell beginnings, you have to figure out who was there at the beginning, and, and I... Surprisingly, as what I was re-engineering with John, women took a big, uh, a really big part in this movie. They dominate, actually. 
Yeah, and I loved a lot of the female characters in different storylines at that because, I mean, there's so many different plots and you're trying to see how they all fit together. Uh, you brought on a lot of heavy hitters to this film, obviously. You're in it, Luke Wilson, Sienna Miller, Will Patton. As you were casting it, was there one actor that you had at the top of the list? Like, I got to get this person on board first. Well, I really wanted Will to come in because he knows how to bubble things up. Uh, Sienna, you know, when I saw her, I just, she was just luminous. But I opened it up to people, you know, that, uh, and the women, like I say, dominate. There are some amazing performances by, you know, Ella Hunt and Abby Lee and Jenna Malone, and, uh, Isabel Furman, and I mean, and then you have Sienna. So um, it, it's easy to see yourself and kind of place yourself back in that history. And that's my hope is that people, you know, they, you know, on Father's Day, they, they take your dad, you know, but take more important, take your son and your daughter. Take your sweetheart. And I, I know it seems like it's a violent movie, but people thought Dances was, you know, kind of poetic, but it was very violent too. But the message was poetic. And I think Horizon, it's worth looking with your son and daughter at, no, this is kind of what the trip looked like. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, my son's in it, you know, so um, there's a, you know, important scene with him and actually very tragic. Wait, and when you when you put him in it, I mean, 15 years old, making his acting debut, did you give him a little tough love on set? Were you coaching him there? Did he you was, kind of he was 13, you know, when we, when he came on, and Sienna said, "You're kind of tough on him," and I said, "I want him to know that he did well," and I was not going to let him walk away without feeling like you know we had you know got the performance we needed, and he ended up doing some things on his own that I didn't expect and. When you see a, a boy make a choice that's so permanent, so fatal, but there's both fear in it and there's a level of honor and a nobility that he would stand with his father. And while his mother is fighting for her life below ground with her daughter one breath at a time. Yeah, I mean, no surprise. He, he follows in his dad's footsteps and he's a total natural. I mean, he, he clearly did the work for the part, clearly did the research, and he, his part was awesome. Well, Kevin Costner, thank you so much for being with us. Horizon and American Saga, Chapter 1 hits theaters June 28th. Run, don't walk to go see it. And thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you being here. Thank you.